I took a step back to show you what this looks like on the shelf. It's high up on my bolo, my be on the lookout for list. The shape, the quality, the weight as I pick it up, and when I turn it over, the mark. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. I am here at my post office with a full cart of packages to drop off. I'm going to go in here and then my next stop is Goodwill. Another cloudy day here in Las Vegas and we are here at my favorite Goodwill. I haven't been here in over a week so hopefully we have lots of new things on the shelves or new to me things on the shelves. We will have a peek through the window here to see if we can see the color of the day. The color of the day is gray. All gray tags are 50% off. Let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting. Let's grab a cart and we'll make our way to the hard goods section at the very back of the store. Just lately, I've had several subscribers and a couple of my reseller friends email to let me know that they have been unsubscribed from my YouTube channel. If you're enjoying my videos, please take a second to go in and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you check the little bell next to the subscribe. If you're watching on a computer, it's the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And on a phone or iPad, it's on the home page below my channel name. If you hit the little bell, you will receive a notification every time I release a new video. And if you're familiar with my videos, you'll know that this gives you first chance to buy items that appear in my video and in my haul. Here we are in the hard goods section. Let's see what they have. Here is a turkey. Oh, I thought it was going to be ceramic, but it's actually resin, a little bit damaged. So we'll leave that. There's an owl in front here. Here's a lovely swan, but unfortunately it's got some damage and chipping to the little lilies. This is interesting. It's a geode. It's polished and it has a little diorama on the top. I absolutely love this. They're little miners. Let's definitely grab this. This is a little leaning tower of Pisa souvenir saucer. Look at this penguin. He's fabulous. I think he might be an advertising piece, but he's not marked on the bottom and I've never seen him before. He's only 99 cents though. So let's pop him in our cart. This is a Vegas Nights soap. That is quite interesting for $2. Let's see what else they have. Oh my goodness, way at the back there, I am seeing two ceramic black cats. Now I'm not sure if these are vintage or if they're just made to look vintage, but they are gorgeous. His eyes match his amber collar. They're not marked. I know that Brins of Japan made cats similar to these. There's another one back here. He has a blue collar and eyes. He's laying down. He's unfortunately missing a couple of jewels from his collar, 
but what we might be able to do is move a couple from the back to the front and uh, make him more presentable. Let's pop our penguin with them and keep going. Where were we? Pop that back because I want to peek at this little hippo. He is just a mass produced planter, not very heavy quality, a bit chipped. We'll leave him. Down here we have some angel ha uh, heads and hands sets. I think these are available at uh, places like Joann's and Michael's. They do look to uh, have some age to them though and they're nicely made. I think I might take a look on eBay solds just to see what these go for. Look at this piece. It's a double tile fastened together with some wire. I absolutely love the painting, the colors, the simplicity of it. Just a really fun piece. Let's pop this in our cart. There's our geode. Let's get that in there too. Down on the bottom here are lots and lots of dolls, some plates. some decorations. Here is a Portuguese little trivet of some grapes made in Portugal. It's only $2. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing some considerable crazing on it and I think this is only about a 10 to $12 piece but I'm going to pop it in the cart and just check on eBay to see what they're going for. I will show you how to do that a little bit later on in this video. Up here we have a Native American piece. It's $8. I have a feeling it's a souvenir piece. He's just got quite an interesting expression on his face. <laughs> Look at this swan. A gorgeous mid-century style glass piece absolutely elegant just lovely let's definitely take that way up here on top are a couple of gold cherubs unfortunately this fellow is missing his flute he's $15 it's a lovely glass apothecary jar there lots and lots more clear glass here is a Project Peace Bowl, unfortunately, it's very, very chipped around the rim. Just check these little candle holders for signatures. Nothing there. Oh, look at this fellow. He's a gorgeous art glass pink flamingo. He's got some gold glitter in his wings. I love his face. He's got metal legs. Let's definitely grab him. He can go gently there next to our swan. Over here is a clear basket applied handle. Possibly vintage, maybe L.E. Smith, I'm not sure. Here is a globe, a bit worse for wear. Some shells, more glass and a woven basket. Oh, look at this elephant. Elephants sell really, really well for me. This guy is white, trunk up for good luck. He has a Ross sticker, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Ross and Marshalls and those stores are liquidation centers, they're clearing houses, and sometimes you can find fantastic items there. Down here there is, is this a trivet here? Let's have a look, probably made in China, this one. Yeah, and back here though is a brass and black etched vase. These sell wonderfully for me. They look absolutely lovely with mid-century ceramic pieces and brass. So we will take that. I just popped it on the floor for a second. Here are some really big 
chess pieces unfortunately they are eight dollars a piece that's a bit steep for me for resale some more candle holders i think this piece is party yeah it's party light it's their sand castle piece i've sold these in the past so i am going to pop this in my cart and uh, check recent solds on eBay to see if it's worth me picking up. Just moving things out of the way so I don't knock anything over. It looks to be in really nice condition. The shells are iridescent. No chips or cracks. Let's pop it over here in the corner so we don't break anything. There we go. Perfect. Let's keep going. I noticed down here at the back two plates. They look to be art glass. They're etched. They are signed. They're $8. I am going to pop these underneath my cart and uh, do a Google Lens or an eBay uh, image search to see if I can find out any more about these. They're possibly um, something like Bradford Exchange collector plates, but uh, it is definitely worth a couple of minutes to look them up just in case. These look like they might have been hung outside because the little clips are rusted a bit. But they are interesting enough to where I want to find out more. So I'm going to carefully pop them down here underneath the cart. There we go. Let's put our vase in here. The holidays are upon us. The store has started to put out some Halloweeny bits. Here is a paper mache cactus, some candles, a little tea light holder, more clear glass and we are moving into the wood and signs and plaques over here. I think that's the same big TB that we saw at that garage sale in my last video. This is lovely. This is a home wall hanging. I love the contrasting wood, and I think I have a spot for that in my downstairs family room. More signs down here. Here's another home one. What's this one? Oh, this is a box. It's an empty box. And it was $14.99. I wonder what was in there. Interesting. More art, it's a desk uh, file drawer caddy. I'm not sure if that is old or just made to look old. Some wall decor. All sorts of plaques and signs for every room. This is a little tiny swivel lazy Susan, possibly for spices. Lots of baskets up top and Let's see, here's a little bunny. It's a box, that's a little worse for wear. The metal is peeling off of it. Here is a huge paper mache turkey, similar to those two cacti on the other shelf. Very lightweight. I wonder if you are supposed to paint those. So many things. All new things. I don't think I've seen any of this before. Oh, what is this? 
This is lovely. It's an Anton Peek. He was a Dutch um, artist. I believe he painted mostly fairy tale scenes. This is lovely. It's in relief. I don't know if you can see all layers of paper. Has some age to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's definitely take that. I wonder, as I always say, check boxes. <laughs> and I always say, if you find one piece, do look around because sometimes you get lucky and there is more than one. Here we are in the vases and planters, having a look. Here's a sweet little milk glass vase. Those look lovely, paired with cobalt glass for winter. I have several in my personal collection and uh, quite a few in my inventory, so I'll leave that one for somebody else. Lots of florist pieces. Here is an old pottery piece. Very, very crazed. Let's see, this lamp is a music box. Another pottery piece there. That one's mass produced, not marked. Here is a little Japanese teacup. Two dollars. It's yellow lusterware with some flowers. These just don't sell very well for me, so I am going to leave it. Lots of colored glass vases. This is an interesting piece. Let's have a look at that. Just not crazy about that, so I'm going to leave it. This, on the other hand, is gorgeous. The design looks like little tower shells all around. It's $2, nice weight to it. Lovely uh, serving piece, we'll take that. Always check the planters in the planter section. This one is Hager. It's not Royal Hager, it's Hager Floral. And for that reason, and because it has a flower arrangement in it, I am going to leave that for someone else. But there are a lot of floral pieces here. So if you ever need florals or wreaths or just something to pop in a vase, do check your local Goodwill because uh, silk flowers can be very, very expensive. We are moving in to the metal section here. This is the silver tone. Lots of baskets. What's this? I think it's a towel rack. Um, lots of little buckets. This is a trivet, I believe. Look at this fun little piece. <laughs> How fun! It's a little um, picture holder and it's all lips. It's so 80s. It's $2. Let's pop that in the cart. Some fruit bowls here. That one's a bit worse for wear. The paint is peeling. Lots of hangers and racks. Ooh, this is interesting. It's a little drum. A vintage little Christmas ornament, I think. Here we are in the mug section and this one caught my eye. It has a lovely a yellow, almost crystalline effect there. It says, I don't rise and shine, I caffeinate and hope for the best. <laughs> I think it might have originally had a lid, but for 99 cents, we will take it. Here is a really big mug. I think this came in a uh, cake in a mug kit. Oh, I thought that might have been 
another one in the series of quotes mugs but it isn't those had the punchline or the end of the saying on the bottom if you remember here's a denver broncos mug 2.99 red tag that one let's see Lots and lots of mugs. It's a little Day of the Dead type mug. It's possibly a restaurant, but it's very chipped. It's one thing you don't want chips on is mugs. Oh, look at these. These are two central perk mugs from the tv show friends that was the cafe the coffee house that the friends would meet at there are two so i think i am going to look these up on ebay and see what they're worth here are some fun bear mugs not ever such good quality though so i'm going to leave those let's see anything else we are going to look up these Central Perk mugs on eBay. I typed in Central Perk mug and I am scrolling through looking to see if it's worth me picking those up. I'm going to check sold. I go filter, show more, down to sold items, click off. And out of all those, only two have sold only about $10. So I'm going to leave those. This says, I love you to the beach and back. Oh, it's personalized. Carolyn and Peg on the beach. <laughs> we'll leave that one. Here is a University of Hawaii. Again, not very good quality. Oh, look at this. This is teak. I recognize the wood. It's a baker heart and stewart little canister i love the look of teak it's so vintage and retro so for 99 cents we will pop that in our cart these are libby little martini glasses let's see what else we can find Irish coffee set. This says Starbucks on the bottom. Do you see that? It's a little frosted glass coffee mug. And for 69 cents, it's worth picking up. It's really fun. Let's keep looking to see if by any chance there is another one. These are pretty little etched vintage glasses. I do like these, but I have quite a few sets of glasses in my inventory at the moment, so I'm going to be extra picky. This is a fun one, a martini glass with a quote from Sir Winston Churchill. Success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. <laughs> I wanted to show you this piece here. This is a vintage piece of Jeanette glass. The pattern is iris and herringbone. Can you see the herringbone pattern? Here. and I am not used to this color uh, these are usually either clear glass or a marigold color and this one I'm not sure if it's just faded I just wanted to zoom in to show you that iris and the herringbone in the background but it's a lovely piece and I can't help but pop it in the cart I'm just going to keep looking on the remainder of these glasses shelves to see if I can find uh, any more of the iris and herringbone or the Starbucks frosted Christmas mug. 
that one has unfortunately been through the dishwasher a few times. I'm not seeing any more of those two pieces. Let's around the corner here. There's a Halloweeny skull. And we are coming into the kitcheny bits here. This is a vintage glass. Unfortunately, the design uh, is coming off. It's faded and rubbed. Here are a couple of L decor little white vases. I think these originally came in a set of three. Let's see what they have up here. Lots and lots of clear glass. Little demi tasse mugs there. I think this is a little jewelry box, a bit worse for wear. Here are some little glass cups. I have those in all colors. They're great for sauces and dipping, asparagus and seafood. Anytime you need sauce. Little jar there. Lots of bowls. Gibson. I took a step back to show you what this looks like on the shelf. It's high up on my bolo, my be on the lookout for list. The shape, the quality, the weight as I pick it up, and when I turn it over, the mark. It's a Le Creuset a baking dish. These sell really, really well for me. The one below it isn't a Le Creuset, as you can see. It's much lighter weight, the quality isn't as good, the handles aren't seamless into the top as with the Le Creuset. I'll show you them side by side here. You can just see the difference in quality. So let's get this into the cart. It's only $4. I just happened to turn around in this aisle and noticed a couple of these Funko Pops on the shelf. I'm not an expert in Funkos, but I do know enough to know that some of them are worth quite a bit of money. So what I'm going to do is look up this one on eBay just to see what she's going for. She is Flame Princess Funko Pop. That's what I typed in. Let's do search and see what comes up. Oh goodness, I'm seeing 65 and 30, 40, 40. There are quite a few listed. So now the thing to do is check and see how many have sold. We go filter, scroll down, show more, sold items, we'll click off and see what we have. I'm seeing 40, 35, 27, 50. Quite a few sold items. Some don't even have a box. So that tells me she is a good pickup. Oh, she's $15, but still, I think there is still some profit to be made there. And next, I am going to check and see if the other one, Mary Poppins with Umbrella, is the same way. Let's pop her in the cart. I notice she has uh, some Sharpie on the bottom. That might be a good thing for me to try to remove during one of my YouTube short videos. Let's keep going. Here is a Tanala piece. I believe it's a little either ashtray or trinket dish. Somebody has already looked at it. Surprisingly, they didn't take it. Lars Orvieto. Uh, 
and looks like it's either 69 or 99 cents and uh, for either of those <laughs> I am definitely going to pop it in my cart. That label's all right. All they need is the little uh, code there. It does have a tiny chip right there, but that's all right with me. Let's keep going in the kitcheny bits. Here is a pasta holder, $8, not marked. It's very, very heavy. I'm going to leave that. This is an anthropology piece. Unfortunately, it has a chip on the rim. There's the sticker and uh, the happiness sticker there is also wearing off. Let's keep going. Here is a cake plate. That's a bit worse for wear as well. Some canisters. There's a metal trimmed coffee pot. The glass is quite thin on that. Here are some vintage made in Taiwan, made to look like marble uh, cups. They're $5 a piece. The decanter or vase is $10. That's just a bit too much for me for resale. I'm going to leave those. These are salt and peppers that go with that platter. The peach serving dish is still here. It has chips, if you remember. Here is, is this a bean pot? It is a modern piece. Into the lids and cooking pots. Just checking this, not Le Creuset. Hands and bowls. Here's a Lennox teapot. It's got a big chunk out of it there. A Christmas one. They still want six dollars. Little pottery piece. Not sure what this is. Looks like a canister, but unfortunately, it's quite damaged. We'll keep going over here. Lots of cookware. There's a Lido Milano anchor hocking vase. That is the avocado. No, that is the emerald green. I have quite a few avocado pieces. I do like the avocado color much better. Tumblers, travel tumblers here. Lots and lots to see. Here's a little, I think this is a souvenir piece with a ball on it. A souvenir travel tumbler. There's a pie slicer in the back. A bunt pan. Into the miscellaneous kitcheny tools here. Oh, look, these are art glass wine bottle stoppers. These sell really, really well for me. They're really fun gifts for Christmas. Great stocking stuffers. These are only $3. Quite fun little retro glass diamond stoppers there. We'll pop those in the cart. Here's a Los Angeles mug. It's Grace's teaware, not Starbucks. Oh, this is... I believe this is a Kate Spade piece. Just the creamer though, no sugar bowl. Only about a 10 to $12 piece, so I am going to leave that. Oops. I just noticed these lovely dogwood plates and I was curious to know who makes them. They are Syracuse, they're restaurant wear. Oh, look at these, Tommy Bahama. Oh, these, these are melamine plates. They're plastic, a set of four. They look like they're brand new. These are really, really interesting. 
these are probably a good be on the lookout for if you are interested in selling plates and bowls it's not really my thing I don't like to list or ship those so I am going to leave them for someone else that one is also melamine let's keep going just to see you never know what gets popped on these shelves That's a fun little bowl. Looks like Mexican pottery, but it's Pier 1 and very, very crazed. Gibson Home. Let's take our usual stroll through the artwork. Small appliances on my left here. Little frames and pictures. We'll see if anything catches my eye. The shelves are quite full over here. Some sort of ephemera up top here. Kissing Sweet Breath. Eight dollars. Vintage advertising piece. I don't know enough about that to spend $8. Hopefully someone who does know will come along and find it. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Here are the larger art pieces and on the wall here, I think this is velvet. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like it is. It's paint on velvet, some dog sleds, a winter scene. That is amazing. Really fun piece. Not quite my taste, so I am not going to pick it up. It is signed. Uh, 65 Stan Sampson. Let's see if I can give you a price. I don't see a price on that. <laughs> but you're, if you're in Vegas <laughs> and you love a paint on velvet, it is here. Very interesting. Let's keep looking, see what else they have here. Lots of smaller pieces. I'm looking for vintage frames. A giveaway that would tell me that a piece is old. What's this? Meet the artist Montague. Oh, this is fun. Little Wild Wind. I don't think this is an original piece. It's not signed on the mat board, unfortunately. But she is quite fun. Eight dollars. Artist is a Montague. This looks like an older piece. Look at this frame and hanging wire. It's $3. Oh goodness, look how gorgeous this is. It's an original oil. It's signed Blue Daisies. Unfortunately, it does have a little bit of damage. There's a little puncture in the canvas there. But it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous vintage piece. I love the light behind the daisies there. The blue with the yellow. Let's definitely take that. Well, let's keep looking to see what else we can find. I'm flipping through as much as I can because you never know what's hiding between the pieces here. That's that Mikasa advertising piece. Lots of 
lots and lots. Oops, let's put that over here so it doesn't get damaged. What's this back here? Heavy frame. Looks like a watercolor. Let's see. Grand Cayman. Joanne Sibley. Oh, I've heard of her. She's quite a popular artist. Very large piece. The frame is uh, quite taste specific in that green and it's missing part of the frame there, unfortunately, on one side. So it would need to be reframed. I'm going to leave that. Let's go through over here. See if there's anything else. Best beer in town. Get one at Daddy's Bar. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Not really seeing anything else here. What's this oval piece? That's a big floral piece. Not original. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Oh, Ziggy. <laughs> Ziggy so is here, he's awake today, and he is, well, he was supervising. Now he's thinking he might go into his box. He hears Bear crashing around downstairs. First we have this gorgeous vintage plate. To me, it looks like tower shells all the way around. It's absolutely lovely. If I turn it over, the shells, <laughs> the shells are in relief. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $20. This is our lovely iris and herringbone Jeanette glass piece. It could actually be used as a lovely vase. It's just so vintage and delicate. It's beautiful. I love the radiating little uh, cutouts on the base of that. I paid 99 cents. I am going to ask $15. Here is our brass and black vase here. It has uh, stripes around the edge and florals and grapes. Just a lovely piece. As you can see, it does look gorgeous with the black ceramic. The two cats here. I paid $3.99 for it. I am going to ask $20. I was so excited to find these vintage cats. In doing some research, I do believe they are old from the 70s. Um, as I did mention, unfortunately, they both do have a couple of their jewels missing. This blue bejeweled fellow has two missing at the front. But as I said, if you wanted to, you could probably pop a couple off the back and uh, replace the front ones and you wouldn't know. This amber-eyed fellow unfortunately has a repaired ear. It's quite a nice repair. They do have some chips on the ears that have been colored. This guy does have one missing rhinestone on the back there. They do look lovely. At this point, I would hate to separate them. 
So I am going to ask $50 for the pair. This is our Anton Peake gorgeous artwork here. It's in a lovely vintage looking frame. As you can see, the um, image is layered with paper to give it depth. Really super in a child's room or a nursery. There's the back. It is vintage as you can see. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $20. Back next to our Anton Peak is this gorgeous um, oil painting of blue daisies in a gold vase. Uh, as I mentioned, it does have a tiny bit of damage there in the middle. It is a lovely, lovely piece. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $45. Back here we have our little Flame Princess Funko Pop. There she is, new in the box. I paid up for her $15, but I believe I can get uh, between $45 and $65 for her. How about this glass flamingo? He's absolutely fantastic. He is uh, cased glass. The pink is inside along with this gorgeous shimmery bronzy gold color in his wings on both sides. There we go. He does have metal legs and I absolutely love his little knees. Look, he has a little uh, ball knees there. There are his feet. I paid $8 for him. I am going to ask $45. Next to him, we have our beautiful, I believe he's a Scandinavian, a Scandinavian glass swan, absolutely clear, just lovely condition. He is, uh... <laughs> come on Ziggy, come here, there we go. He uh, was, let's see. He was $3. I am going to ask $20. I love this fun mug. It's all sparkly, sort of crystalline with the yellow and white. I don't rise and shine. I caffeinate and hope for the best. Um, it was 99 cents. I think it might have originally had a lid because it's sort of a, a travel tumbler. Uh, stainless steel material inside but it could easily be used as a mug and if it doesn't sell I think I might use it myself I paid a dollar for it I am going to ask fifteen dollars next to that we have our Christmas Starbucks mug it says wish for snow for peace on earth for flying reindeer it is frosted there's a tree and a dog and a little boy looking up uh, doves and stars just a lovely lovely piece marked starbucks coffee on the bottom 12 fluid ounces i paid 69 cents for it i am going to ask 15 dollars here are our lovely art glass wine bottle stoppers. My favorite thing to do with these is to tie a ribbon on them and add them to a lovely bottle of wine to give as a gift. I put the whole thing in a pretty gift bag and uh, makes a super Christmas or hostess gift. I paid $3 for the pair of these. I am going to ask $15. Here we have our mystery little penguin fellow. His little uh, badge on his jacket says penguin. 
which leads me to believe he is an advertising piece, possibly Spanish or Brazilian. I've never seen him before. He's really unique. I paid 99 cents for him and I am inclined to pop him on eBay um, auction style. That's what I do when I can't find another one like it. It gives me an idea of, val of value. I'll start high, possibly maybe $50 auction style and see where he goes. If I get no takers on that, I will list him uh, again for $50 or best offer. If anybody wants to send me a best offer on him through my email, it's thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name and address so I can calculate shipping, the item you're interested in and your offer or the price I mentioned. Here we have a lovely little elephant tea light holder. Absolutely gorgeous, very modernist design trunk up for good luck he holds a little tea light in his back there i paid two dollars for him and these are selling on ebay for 25 dollars this very unique retro piece caught my eye it looked like the 80s to me uh, very fun. It's a little stand for a photo or a picture. I paid $2 for it. Uh, it appears to be resin and metal. I am going to ask $20. I absolutely love teak wood and uh, this canister top is teak. It's a Baker Hart and Stewart piece made in thailand definitely vintage the gasket seal is no good as you can see it's completely dried out uh, that often happens in our very dry nevada climate here the canister part is glass quite an unusual shape would just look lovely in a display just like that or filled with whatever you'd like, candies or decorative pieces, marbles possibly. I paid 99 cents for it. I am going to ask $15. Here we have a really fun little drum ornament. It's brass. Uh, the little drumsticks are on top. It would look super with a ribbon on your Christmas tree. Really vintage. I paid 69 cents for it. I am going to ask $15. This is our gorgeous Le Creuset baking dish. Here's the mark. It appears to be brand new, never used. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $20. Here is our little Tanala ashtray or uh, trinket dish here. Orvieto is the artist. I paid 99 cents for it. It does have a little chip chip right here. You can see that on the edge. It wants to focus on the lips there. I am going to ask $15. And last but not least, my sleeper. This caught my eye. It's a really fun uh, diorama on top of a geode. Someone has put some little pewter figurines of miners um, on top of this cut geode. Uh, it looks like some fool, fool's gold up here. Just beautiful colors, some purples and blues. Just a fun, fun piece. It has a little stand. I paid $5.99 for it. And on eBay, these are going upwards of $60, $70, $80, $100. So if you have interest in, in if you have interest in this piece, do shoot me an offer to my email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Goodwill trip and my haul. Please do stay tuned for some fun footage of Bandit and Bear. I want to thank again everybody who bid on the items in my Hearts Alive fundraising haul. That was such a fun trip to Hearts Alive. We met with Leslie, we bought some fun stuff and then everything in the haul was available for purchase and I am donating back all the profits to Hearts Alive. I have invoiced everybody and received almost all uh, payments. Most of the items have shipped out already. I am hoping to receive uh, all the monies by my Sunday video. And next week or the following week, hopefully we will be able to make a trip back down to Hearts Alive and present Leslie with a wonderful check. Once more, thank you so much for watching and supporting me and supporting the reseller community. I so appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you next time. Bye. What do you say? Good boy. Want some peanut butter? Is that your favorite? Lick it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs>